Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this chapter, I'm going to focus on selecting routing target. Now, agenda is to understand what routing target is, the difference between skills target and skills group, uh, routing calls to announcements, schedule target, unanswer call, returning multiple labels and transferring calls from agent to agent. And the routing target, which is an entity to which ICM software can route a contact. Uh, routing target could be, for example, call manage, uh, sorry, skills, uh, skills group, or could be a network device. A routing target receives a contact and processes it accordingly. Now, for example, if you're sending a call to sales group, well, the idea behind that is to select an agent from that particular group. There are two types of routing targets that you have, a skills target, and the network target. Route is a value returned by the script that maps to a target at a peripheral such as service or skills group. So think about the route is a logical connection that bridges the call with a particular target. Now the translation route which happens to be a routing target that at a peripheral that does not map to specific service skills group, but it is a temporary destination for a call. When a system software returns a translation route, uh, route label to the routing client, it also send a message directly to the peripheral gateway PG at the target gate uh, peripheral. So for example, if I have my call manager here connected to a PG and to a central controller, and then this is my, let's say, UCCX IVR, IPIVR. So, using a different color, when this particular node is executed, like translation route to VRU, central controller will reply with a number, let's say 3999. This is a CTI route point. And that number will initiate a call to UCCX server from call manager. Now, as the call manager is trying to connect to the contact center, at the same time, UCCE will send a signal to the UC, sorry, uh, central controller will send a signal to UCCX through the VRU channel. So that's basically what it's to a message will direct it to the PG at a targeted peripheral. Now, in order to do this, you must create